Now we've nearly finished our teddy. I just want to add the pom-pom here, which will be a white satin fill. And choose the circle tool. And I'll start up here a little bit. Too big. Probably about there will be enough. And enter. And select it. Remove overlaps. Now make sure that it's in the right position before you remove overlaps. I might actually just drag it down and across a bit. Because once you've removed those overlaps, if you then decide to move the pom-pom, it there will be gaps. Okay, that looks all right. So we'll select it again and remove overlaps. And there's a couple of other little things I'd like to do to the teddy. And one of them is the eyes. So I'm just going to zoom in there. And if you look, it's a step stitch in the eyes. And in this eye, the step stitching is running horizontal. And in this eye, it's running at an angle like this. These are only small areas, so they will handle a satin stitch, which I think will look nicer for the eyes anyway. So I'm going to select both the eyes. So that one, then hold the control button down and select that one. And whoops, I've done it again. Undo that one. And that one are both selected. So now I can go down here and select satin. Now I click off and I'm just going to select this eye this time and go to the reshape tool and I'm going to bring my angle tool around to that angle there. Hit enter and now my satin stitch is running at a, on a diagonal. And let's select this one over here and swing that one around in the opposite direction. Hit enter and the satin stitch is running there. Now I'd like him to have a little black nose as well and a little mouth. So let's select his nose. And in fact, his nose embroiders before this yellow part. That's how the auto digitizing has done it. If we look here, we can see that here is the part, here is the nose selected. And here is the part that goes around the nose, which is going to stitch after. I would actually like the nose to be stitched last with the black here. So I could actually tuck it down here before the gold. So let's just move the nose down there first. And let's change its color to black. All right, so now it's stitching on top, but it'll be a little bit big. So we need to shrink it down just a little bit. And recenter it in the hole. Now we've got a bit of a gap around here from the yellow. So we'll select that, go to our reshape tool and just bring our stitching into just inside the black. Remembering the black stitching on top of the yellow now. And go enter. Let's have a look at that in artistic view. One to one. Okay, he's got a nice little round nose now. Now all we need to do is put in his mouth. Now I would like to avoid any jump stitches. We've, we're going to have a jump stitch from this part of the black to his nose, but after that I don't want any more jump stitches to have to trim. So what I'm going to do is embed the mouth in the stitching of his nose. And I'll show you what I mean by that. 
so we'll select the nose and we'll go back to design view so we can see clearly and zoom right in okay now if we hit our letter E button on our keyboard it will take us into edit mo mode and then we need to click where we want to edit from and you have to play around a little bit because the nose is black you don't see a big change but actually what's happened is the bits that haven't stitched yet will be sort of charcoal grey to black and as you move your little if you use your arrow keys on your keyboard the right arrow moves one stitch at a time forward and the left arrow moves one stitch at a time backwards and the up arrow moves 10 stitches at a time backwards and the down arrow moves 10 stitches at a time forwards so we're going to we've started almost in the middle what I'm going to do is move my little cross there till it's in the middle of the nose where I want to start the mouth that'd be a good spot there so you can see I've got a little cross here now if I digitize something it will digitize from that point so I'm going to choose my open object tool and I'm going to choose outline and I'm going to choose single and all I'm going to do is left click in a straight line down for a little way right click across to create the curve of his mouth and then I'm going to right click back over the exact same nodes oh, sorry backspace the last click has to be a left click because I'm going in an opposite direction and then I'm going to right click back over those same nodes left click here and I'm going to create the other side of the mouth here and then right click back over those nodes left click here and back up here enter that's created his mouth and it will stitch what will happen is the nose will stitch across to here and then it will stitch his mouth and back to here and then it will continue on if I now use my arrow key you can see it will continue on stitching let's just zoom out now to one to one and you can see as I said that um, the rest of the stitching will then to become the right color okay we have finished artistic view so he's ready to stitch out now for a test so I hope you've enjoyed that and I hope you enjoyed trying one for yourself what about dressing the teddy in other sorts of clothes we had some fun recently at a retreat we dressed the teddy in dresses and little shorts and bib and brace overalls and one of the ladies later on actually put some jewelry and lace collars on so you can have lots of fun dressing your teddy if you're in the Christmas mood now there's a free cross stitch um, Christmas wreath on the homepage of my website and I've also digitized some snowflakes for sale in the online shop so be nice if, if you could visit there and have a look at those thank you very much